Hey, you're in my English class. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. We could buy it from a former student. We could also buy the used version. That is a great idea. I will give you the website to buy used books. Thank you so much. No problem at all. When are you going to register for classes? My registration date is next month. That is terrible. Yeah, it is very late. Mine is next week. Why is your date so early? I am a student athlete. Maybe I should play a sport. Soccer tryouts are tomorrow. I don't like soccer. Would you rather have a late registration date? I actually would. How many classes did you manage to get? I only got two. I only got one. There are too many full classes at this college. I never get the classes I need. Have you tried asking the professor for a spot? That doesn't work all the time. At this point, we will graduate in 10 years. That is so early. What are you talking about? I think we will graduate in 15 years. You are funny. Are you excited for the first day of school? No, I'm very afraid. What is to be afraid of? I am afraid of the teacher. But you haven't even met her yet. I have heard bad things about her. What bad things? I heard that she doesn't let anyone laugh. That is ridiculous. The older kids told me that. They are just trying to scare you. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I have never seen you before. I am a new student. Where are you from? I am from Japan. I love Japan. What do you love about it? I love the food, the culture, and the location. I could show you around someday. That would be so fun. But first, can you show me around here? It would be my pleasure. Let's start after school. Did you finish the math project? I have not started. But it's due tomorrow. I thought it was due next week. Do you even pay attention in class? I guess not. Do you know where to start? Not at all. I can help you. That would be awesome. I'll help you at my house tonight. I'll be there. Did you bring the pie chart for our presentation? You're going to be mad. What did you do? I forgot the pie chart. How could you forget? I am so sorry. Where is it? It is at home. Are your parents at home? My mom is at home. Ask her to drop it off. I will call her right now. I am doing poorly in my history class. What is your grade? I have an F. You need to do well on the final exam. I am planning to study. That did not work all the times before. What do you think I should do then? Look at the smart person's test answers. But that is cheating. What other choice do you have? I would rather fail the class than cheat. You're a good student. I have a book report. What book are you doing it on? I have to read To Kill a Mockingbird. That is an excellent book. That is good to know. Do you have the book yet? I am planning to get it soon. You should borrow it from the library. What is the library? You have never heard of the library? I have never heard of it. At the library, you can borrow books for free. I'm planning to put gum in Miss Miller's hair. Why would you do such a thing? Because Miss Miller gives too much homework. She is so nice, though. I do not care. 
You might get suspended. What does that mean? It means you have to leave school for a while. That's the punishment? Yes. It is worse than detention. Suspension sounds like a vacation to me. Say that to your parents. I have five classes and 40 hours of work weekly. Your life is so stressful. Sadly, it is. I am only taking two classes. Do you have work? I am too lazy to work. Don't you want money, though? My parents are rich. My parents are poor. I'm sorry to hear that. They're poor, but honest, good people. Good for you. I am so hungry. I am hungry, too. How many more minutes until lunch? 30 more minutes. That is too long. I know. I hear your stomach growling. Do you have any food in your backpack? I have a bag of chips. Can I have some? Maybe next time. Wait, why not now? Because I'm going to eat the chips. Do you live in the dorms? Yes, I do. What do you like about it? I get to see my friends almost all the time. What else? I don't have to see my parents. How much does it cost to dorm? It is very expensive. Tell me exactly how much. You're going to faint after I tell you. Just tell me. It costs $15,000 per year. I wish I was a cheerleader. Why do you want to be one? Cheerleaders are popular. Popularity is not important. If you're popular, everyone knows you. I think you have been watching too many movies. No, I have not. You can be popular in other ways. What other ways? You could just be nice to people. That is so hard. This is why you are not popular. The lunch menu is so bad today. What is the cafeteria serving? Leftover meatloaf and Brussels sprouts. That is disgusting. I'm thinking of buying something from the vending machine. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's wrong with the vending machine? It steals your money. Vending machines can't steal. Yesterday, I inserted a dollar and no food came out. I think I'll just go to the cafeteria. Meatloaf and Brussels sprouts sounds good right now, right? I am so nervous for the class presentation. Don't be. You're so smart. I know, but I don't like big audience. Do you want my advice? Of course I do. Imagine the audience in their underwear. That is insane. It really works. Have you tried it? Yes. I got an A on my presentation. I'll try it then. You can do it. Tomorrow is show and tell. Yeah, I know. I am bringing my new purse for show and tell. Purses are boring. No, they're not. Well, I'm bringing my dog. You can't bring dogs to school. No one has to know until tomorrow. You are going to get into so much trouble. But I'll be the coolest kid in school. You won't be saying that in jail. I am not falling for that. Did you get a partner for the geometry project? I am still looking around. Do you want me to be your partner? I am sorry, but I do not. What is wrong with me? You're known as someone who is very lazy. That is so not true. Well, it's what I heard from our classmates. You can't always trust people. You do make a good point. Give me a chance and I won't let you down. Okay, I trust you. Mom, can you buy me a laptop? You are only 13. Everyone in school has one. They must be rich then. I really need it. What do you need it for? I want to bring it to school for homework. Aren't there computers at school? They are way too slow. Back in my day, there were no computers. I hate it when you say that. 
I hate it when you ask for things. Excuse me, aren't you in my math class? Yes, I think I am. Could I please borrow your notes? Sure, but please hurry with them. I will. I only want to look over them. We went over some of the new material yesterday. Was it very difficult? It was not too different from what we learned. Did the teacher mention the test? The test will be next week. Thank you for your help. Sure. Good luck studying. Excuse me, where can I find a dictionary? What kind of dictionary would you like? A bilingual dictionary would be nice. Well, there are many printed dictionaries. Is there one you'd recommend? Personally, I like the digital dictionaries. Do you sell those here? Yes. They're like mini computers. They are much more expensive, aren't they? Unfortunately, they can be expensive. I think I'll stick with the printed version. Either way, I'm sure it will be very useful. Give me your lunch money. Stop it, or you will be sorry. Are you arguing with me? I'm tired of you taking my money. I'm going to give you one last chance. Are you going to hit me? I'm going to hit you hard. I'll just tell the principal. You are lying. Just hit me now, and you'll see I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I have a problem. Tell me about it. I got hired at a restaurant and a clothing store. What's the problem? I can only work for one of them. I think you should work at the restaurant. Tell me why. Folding clothes is annoying. What else is bad about clothing stores? Customers always mess up the clothes. Anything else? You get tips at restaurants. That's a good point. I want to be a doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Doctors make a lot of money. Doctors also have to go to school for a long time. Never mind. I want to be an engineer. Why do you want to be an engineer? Engineers make a lot of money. Will you be happy, though? If I have a lot of money, I will be happy. Money doesn't equal happiness. But I can buy whatever I want with money. You can't buy friends, family, or love. I just turned 16 yesterday. 16 is a great age. What's so great about being 16? You can get a job. I didn't know that. You have to get a work permit, though. Thanks for telling me. No problem. Tell me when you get a job. Is it hard to get one? Yes. Employers don't like to hire people under 18. That's going to change when they meet me. Your confidence will surely get you a job. I'm going to quit school. I don't recommend that. Don't worry. I'm going to start a business. What kind of business? I'm going to make robot that does chores. Have you made the robot yet? No, but I'm starting to. If you do manage to complete it, it would sell well. Yeah, that's why I'm going to quit school. You are right. Who needs school if you have a great idea? I'm just worried my parents won't understand. They love you. They'll understand. How long have you been watching TV? About 10 hours. You need to get a job. Why? You and Dad make so much money. You can't just sit around all day. But I'm not good at anything. Everyone is good at something. Well, I'm good at watching TV. Why don't you become a TV critic? I would love to watch TV and write, write reviews. See? You are good at something. Thanks, Mom. I'll start looking for jobs now. I'm trying to find a job to pay for college. Good for you. Do you have a job right now? Yes. I am a waitress. Any tips on finding a part-time job? Be friendly, offer your resume, and dress nicely. I've done that so many times. Sometimes companies don't need any employees. How did you get your job? Just send applications and hope someone calls. 
So, is it based on luck? A little bit. Luck helps. Before this interview starts, any questions? Nope. I'm ready to go. Okay, great. Tell me about yourself. I'm 35 years old with a degree in teaching. Why do you want to become a teacher? I want to improve students' futures. What subject would you like to teach? I would love to teach science. I was a science teacher once. Interesting. What made you change jobs? Scientists don't really interact with kids. True. I'll call you back if I decide to hire you. Thanks. I hope to hear from you soon. What is your job? I'm a teacher. What grade do you teach? I teach ninth graders. Do you like your job? I hate it. What do you hate the most? I hate that they never listen to me. You can always punish them. I hit them. You what? I'm just kidding. I'm trying to find a job and it's hard. I think it's because you have never worked before. You're right. Employers like to see someone with experience. That is unfortunate. I can't get a job if no one will give me a chance. Try to sell yourself. How am I going to do that? Talk about your talents. I can lick my nose. Not that kind of talent. I'm the captain of the basketball team. There you go. Try mentioning that. How was your first day of work? It was terrible. What happened? My coworkers bullied me. How did they bully you? They said I didn't deserve to be there. You're the most passionate veterinarian I know. I don't deserve this kind of treatment. Do you have any idea why they bullied you? It's because they're a lot older than me. You need to talk to your boss. Yeah, I will. It's finally lunchtime. I've been counting the minutes. How long is our lunch break? It's 30 minutes. That's it? I worked for five hours. I know. It's terrible. But what can we do? Can we protest? We would get fired. But we deserve a longer lunch break. I agree. I think we should have one hour. Let's start a petition rather than protest. A petition is a perfect idea. I have the worst job shift ever. No, I do. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. My shift is from 6 p.m. to 5 a.m. Okay, I was wrong. You have the worst shift. It's ruining my health. I have to change my sleeping schedule. I can never have dinner with my family anymore. Me too. My parents are mad at me. Mine too. They want me to quit. Let's quit together. Yeah, let's quit next week. I realize that I hate my job. What's wrong with it? I always have to treat customers like royalty. Even when the customer is wrong? At my job, the customer is always right. Tell me a bad experience you had. A customer dropped his drink on me once. And then what happened? He started getting mad at me. That is so unreasonable. Then my manager told me to apologize. You should quit. Hi, how are you doing today? I am fine. Just so you know, we have a huge sale today. Good to know. We also have dresses that just came in today. Can you please stop talking? I beg your pardon? I just want to shop, but you keep talking. I'm just doing my job. You're not very good at doing your job. It's my job to tell you about our sale. You're just really annoying. I got fired yesterday. You're lying. You're the best worker there. I really got fired. How is that possible? My co-worker said I was stealing from the company. Is that true? Of course not. I would never steal. Did you tell your manager that? I tried, but my co-worker put a necklace in my bag. She must really hate you. She's really jealous of me. She's jealous and mean. I'm thinking of moving to Texas. Why? You love California. 
I do, but there's a great teaching job in Texas. How much would you get? I would get $70,000 a year. How much do you make now? I earn $60,000 a year. I still don't think you should move. Really? Why not? All your friends and family are here. Are there any other reasons? I think you'll earn $70,000 if you're patient. I am a nurse. Why didn't you want to become a doctor? Doctors have to go to school longer. But they get more money. Nurses get a lot of money, too. Not really. Doctors have more prestige. Prestige and money doesn't matter to me. Good for you. Are you a doctor? I am going to be one in four years. A lot can change in four years. I know, but I believe in myself. I have overtime next week. What does that mean? It means I'm working more hours than usual. What are your usual hours? I usually work eight hours a day for five days. How about next week? I'm working another eight hours on Saturday. But Mom was planning a party on Saturday. I can't make it. Can't you tell your boss? That's not how the real world works. I wish the world was perfect. Hey, Mr. Smith, are you busy? Not at all. What's going on? I've been working with the company for 10 years. Yes, and I appreciate your dedication. I think I should get a raise for my dedication. Of course, but it must be reasonable. I think I should be paid $30 an hour. That's a little too much. I have a master's degree, and I'm a great worker. I know, but the economy is bad. How about $25 an hour? That can be considered. You are late to work again. I'm very sorry. How do you manage to make it late every day? I don't mean to be so late. You look very tired. I didn't get enough sleep. If you sleep earlier, earlier you'll rise earlier. I can't sleep that early. Why? Are you a night owl? No, I'm just very busy with housework. Well, set your alarm and wake up on time. I won't be late again, I promise. I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window? No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. 
You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus, too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course. It only comes once a year. The house down the street is on fire. How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow, don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. 
Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Let's meet in the living room instead. I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge. And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawnmower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around 20 minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? 
I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. I repainted my house, so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes, I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort, too. There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. There are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montebello. All right, then what's next? Read the list of Montebello buses going to that stop. There are three. How do I choose one? They are all going to the same place? Yes, it looks like they are. Then choose the bus based on the timetable. This is the bus that gets me there the soonest. You'd better get moving. It'll be here soon. I just missed my bus. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. The next one comes in 10 minutes. You won't make it to work on time. What should I do? Ask the next bus driver for help. How can he possibly help me? He could tell you which bus to ride. Do you think it's all right to ride a different bus? Sure, as long as you get to work on time. I just hope I won't get lost. You won't. Besides, it's good not to sit idly by. Why didn't you buy a bus ticket? I have a tap card. What is a tap card? It stores money for me to use when I ride the bus. Is it like a credit card? It works exactly like a credit card. How did the bus driver know you had one? I tapped it on his ticket console. I see. That is much faster. Yes, and much more convenient. Maybe I'll get myself a tap card. You should. You'd save time and money. Take out your student ID card. Why do I need it? If you show it to the driver, your ticket costs less. That is very helpful to students. Yes. Saving every little bit counts. He charged me a whole dollar less. Yes, bus drivers are nice to students. I wish I'd known it do it sooner. Me too. We would have saved some money. Does it work for college students too? I think so, as long as you show a school ID. I'd better tell my big brother too. There are so many bus lines here. Yes, there are. I still get confused sometimes. How do you know which buses to get on? I check the schedules at each bus stop. That is so convenient. Yes, it is. It helps to keep me from getting lost. So many bus lines can be confusing. The buses pass by very frequently. How often do they pass by? Maybe once every 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I'll never get stranded here. Definitely not. Just make sure you have a ticket. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I can't find the Muni bus I'm looking for. Well, the letters flash on the sign as they arrive. That's the problem. I don't see the 8X Muni. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. What do you mean? The line you're looking for is actually a bus line. Oh, where can I take it? Just go out to the stop on the street. It's a little confusing to have a Muni bus and a Muni train. Just remember, if it has a number, it's a Muni bus. 
At what time does the Montebello bus leave? It leaves every 10 minutes. Do you know when the next one is coming? Well, you actually just missed it. You mean I have to wait 10 whole minutes? Unfortunately, sometimes though, it's a little faster. I wonder if I'll still have enough time for shopping. You only have a few minutes to buy something. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You should try a different bus routes. Is it easy to navigate bus routes? Very easy. Here's a map for you to read. What bus do we need to take? We need... I'm so tired. Me too. That's the longest flight I've ever ridden. Where's our hotel? I have the address right here. It's not too far. We can take the bus. Actually, we can't. Why we can't? The bus will not allow us to carry luggage. That's so inconvenient. It's because it'll take up space on the bus. How do we get back to the hotel then? I guess we'll have to call a taxi. Excuse me, I need a ticket. You owe me a dollar. I already put one in. Yes, and you owe me another. The counter says fare is one dollar. The fare counter tells how much money you've inserted. I don't understand. It reads one dollar because you put a dollar in. How do I know I've paid the fare? The counter will go back to zero. Oh, I see what you mean. Now that you've paid your two dollars, here's your ticket. I like a window seat. Why are you always so excited about sitting there? I like being able to look outside. You walk along the streets all the time. That's true, but this way it's like a movie. What do you mean it's like a movie? I like watching the people walking by. All people walk the same way, you know. Perhaps, but not all people live the same way. What does this have to do with a window seat? I just like looking out at the world. Suppose the world is rather peaceful. We only have to ride for one stop. Yeah, then we have a bus transfer. Let's sit here by the door. I don't think we should sit there. Why don't you want to sit there? Those seats are reserved for the handicapped and elderly. Are all the seats next to the exits reserved? I think they are. They have signs beside them. All the seats close to those are taken. Just choose any seat. Oh, look! We're there already. I suppose standing wasn't so bad anyway. This bus is amazing. It's so big. The seats are comfortable, too. I didn't know they have outlets and Wi-Fi. These buses are as comfortable as possible. Let's look for a seat with an outlet. Look, there's one there. It looks like it's already taken. I guess we have to be faster next time. I found one. Sit down quickly. We're all set for our trip now. The man getting on the bus is in a wheelchair. The driver has to adjust the seats. What will he do for them? He'll move them out of the way. They look difficult to move. Maybe we should help him. What do I do? Just release the lever under the seat. Now what do I do? Let's push the seats out of the way. The driver and the man are so grateful. We should always try to help others. Hi. Sorry I took so long to meet you. That's all right. We have plenty of time. Who is that girl sleeping on your shoulder? She's just someone else riding the bus. You mean you don't know her? No, she boarded after I did and fell asleep. Don't you mind her leaning on your shoulder? No, I don't. She must be exhausted. What if she misses her stop? I heard her say she's going to Main Street. Hey, that's our stop too. Yeah, so just let her sleep. It'll be fine. Hey, you need to wake up now. Where am I? You're at the last stop on the route. What? How did we get so far? You fell asleep and didn't request a stop. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. I didn't know. All I do is drive the bus. How can I get back from here? A bus going back will arrive soon. That's good. I'd hate to be stranded. 
Make sure you don't fall asleep this time. Trust me, I'll never fall asleep again. You should put away those chips. Why? I'm hungry. You'll leave crumbs everywhere. Someone will pick them up. Probably roaches and vermin. There are no roaches on the bus. That's only because people work to keep things clean. You're exaggerating. There are signs saying no food on the bus. No one takes those signs seriously. Imagine if everyone left crumbs and trash on the bus. I guess I should not make a mess at least. That child just won't stop crying. It's been crying for the last three stops. The mother has tried feeding it already. I guess she can't change the diaper on the bus. I read once that baby's ears hurt on the bus. Why do their ears hurt? It's because of the air pressure in the bus. Is it like when your ears hurt on a plane? Well, my ears hurt too. I don't think that's because of air pressure. I can't stand it anymore. Let's get off now. All right, that screeching is getting to me too. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, likewise. Are you taking the bus downtown? Yes, I am. I'm doing some shopping. Oh, so am I. Prices are so much better there. Yes, they are. The weather is very nice today, at least. I'm glad for that. It's nice for walking about. Heat waves are so unfortunate. They drain my energy. I know what you mean. Would you like to join me while shopping today? I just remembered. I have to get off at the next stop. Oh no, I lost my ticket. Was it an all-day pass? Yes, I just bought it. What are you going to do? Well, I guess all I need to do is get home. It takes three transfers to get to your house. Maybe I'll just hop the bus. No way! You have to buy another ticket. It's not a big deal. No one will notice. You'd better not. You could get in trouble. I feel like I'm wasting my money. A $2 ticket is better than a $150 ticket fine. My tap card isn't working. Why not? Try it again. It's still not accepting the fare. Is the magnetic strip broken? No. I just used it at the station. Did it run out of credit? No, I just refilled it yesterday. Did you tap it upside down? I tried flipping it several times. Look, you're using a Metro card. What's the problem with that? This is the Montebello bus line. Plane tickets are so expensive. I can't afford to fly to San Francisco. Well, we can always go by bus. There's a bus that drives to San Francisco? There are buses that drive to any nearby state. That sounds perfect. How much is the fare? Usually one-fifth of what a plane ticket costs. How do we buy tickets? If we buy them online, they're even cheaper. What bus line do I search? Greyhound buses are the most popular. I'm so glad we'll have a trip after all. This line is so long. We've been waiting for almost an hour. I guess they do really check thorough. What are they checking for? They need to make sure no one is carrying any weapons. I'm glad they check thoroughly for that. They also have to make sure no one has drugs. Wow, I guess that's why the police dogs are here. Look, there are only three people ahead. After that, can we board the bus? Yes, we're almost there. Good. I'm tired of standing in line. What time is it? The sun just rose. How many more hours are left? Maybe two more hours. That's good. I'm hungry. I'm feeling hungry, too. My neck hurts from sleeping in a bad position. Next time, maybe we should bring pillows. Definitely. Then my head won't bounce around. At least you're not car sick. You're car sick? It's better not to talk about it. What do you feel like eating this morning? I usually just have a bowl of cereal. The most important meal of the day is breakfast. 
Yeah, but I don't usually have time to eat a big breakfast. You can always make an easy breakfast. What do you make? All I make is oatmeal, toast, and some orange juice. That sounds pretty good. I like it, and it's a fast meal. That is a very quick meal to make. I can make it for you if you like. Oatmeal and toast sounds good to me. Hey, what's for lunch? I don't know. What do you want to eat? I was thinking of pizza. That's what I ate yesterday. Well, what do you want to eat? I wouldn't mind a burger. I ate a burger just the other day. We're going to have to compromise. You could always get a burger, and I can get a pizza. Sounds good to me. Where can we go to get both? We can get both at the cafeteria. What's for dinner tonight? What are you planning on cooking? I'm not making anything. If you plan on eating, you are. What am I supposed to cook? What do you feel like having? I want some chicken and potatoes. That sounds really good. When are you going to make it? I have no plans on cooking tonight. Fine, I'll make it. I knew that already. I'm so thirsty. Let's go get something to drink. That's a good idea. Do you know what you want to drink? I kind of want a soda. You shouldn't drink soda when you're really thirsty. What do you mean? When you're thirsty, you're not supposed to drink soda. What are you supposed to drink? Water is what's best for you. I guess I will get water. It's better for What are you going to eat with your sandwich? I think I'm going to eat a piece of fruit. What kind do you like? I really like apples and grapes. What kind of apples do you like? I love green apples. I don't like green apples. Really? Why not? Green apples are too sour for me. So, you like red apples better? Yeah, I love red apples. I think green apples are a lot better. I really feel like eating a salad. What kind are you going to make? I'm really not sure. I really like Caesar salads. Caesar salads are pretty good. What kind of salad do you want to make? I want a salad with some chicken. I love chicken salads. I like my salads to have croutons, almonds, and shredded cheese. Mmm, that sounds really tasty. You should make a salad like that. I think that I will. I want something sweet after dinner. What do you have in mind? A dessert sounds nice. What kind are you thinking of getting? I want to get some pie. What kind of pie do you want? I have no idea. Do you want to know what kind of pie I like? Sure. What kind do you like? I love apple pie. Oh, I love apple pie too. There you go. Problem solved. I need to get some beef. Do you know what kind of beef you want? I want to get some ground beef. How many pounds do you need? I would like four pounds of ground beef. What kind of ground beef do you need? I would like the extra lean. Let me go and get that for you. Thank you very much. No problem. I'll wrap it up for you now. I appreciate that. I'm hungry. You already ate. It wasn't enough because I'm hungry again. There's nothing left from dinner. I'm going to get a snack. What kind of snack are you going to make? I don't know. You can always make a sandwich. I don't know what kind of sandwich I want. Just make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I may just do that. Go right ahead. What do you plan on making as a side dish for dinner? I was planning on making some kind of vegetable. Do you know what kind? What kind of vegetable do you want? I wouldn't mind eating some corn. How do you want it? What do you mean? I can boil it, grill it, or microwave it. You should throw some corn on the grill. Is that really what you want? That sounds good. I guess I can do that. I really need to start eating healthier. I have to start eating better, too. What kind of food do you usually eat? I try my best to eat only fruits, vegetables, and chicken. Is that really all that you eat? That's basically it. How do you stick to only those foods? Actually, fruits and veggies are really good for you. Yeah, I know. But what about the chicken? I mainly eat baked chicken because there's not a lot of fat. That does sound pretty good.、Mm. I know it does, and that's because it is. I want to get a snack at the cafeteria. What are you going to buy? I may just buy some chips. I'm probably going to buy something too. What do you want to get? I want some sort of candy. What kind do you want? I want some chocolate. What kind of chocolate? I'm going to get a Snickers or a. 
What can I get for you today? Could I get a hamburger, please? Would you like cheese on that? No, thank you. Would you like a drink? Let me have a soda. What kind of soda would you like? May I have a Sprite, please? Sure, no problem. I would also like a bag of chips. Will that be all? That's it. What did you get for lunch today? All I had was a sandwich, chips, and a soda. Where did you get your food from? I went to the cafeteria and bought it. What sandwich did you order? I ordered a ham sandwich, but they gave me a bologna sandwich instead. Was it any good? I enjoyed it, even though I had not asked for it. I ordered a sandwich there before. Is that right? Yeah, and they messed my order up too. That may be true, but I'm sure you enjoyed your sandwich. I really want to get something to eat. What are you going to get? I don't know what I want to eat. Well, do you want burgers, Chinese food, or Mexican food? Chinese food sounds good. Where are you going to get it from? I haven't the slightest idea. I usually get my Chinese food from Panda Express. You like Panda Express? The food there is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll go there then. You should. I know you'll like it. I think I'm going to go to the market today. Do we need food? Yeah, I think so. What are you going to get? I'm not sure what we need. Maybe you should go and look in the refrigerator. Could you just do it for me and write out a list of things that we need? Just get the basics. Like what? You know, get some eggs, milk, and bread. Just. Go and make a list for me, please. Fine, I'll go do that for you. I'd like to get some meat today. What kind do you need? I need about a pound of ground beef. The ground beef is two forty-eight a pound. That sounds good. What else would you like? I also need three pounds of chicken breast. The chicken breasts are four dollars and five cents a pound. How much will the three pounds of chicken cost altogether? Altogether, it's going to be twelve dollars and fifteen cents. That will be all for me. All right, let me get your meat for you. Have you ever shopped at Whole Foods Market? No.、Nope. How's the food there? It's very good, and it's fresh too. I do my shopping at Vons. I shop there before too, but the food is better at Whole Foods. What's wrong with Vons? Their range of organic foods is very limited. Whole Foods has a lot of organic foods. Yeah, the food there is very healthy. I've never been. But I may start shopping there. The food there is a great step up from Vons. Thanks for letting me know. I can't seem to find the cereal aisles. You'll find the cereal by the breakfast foods. What breakfast foods? They're over by the oatmeal and the breakfast bars. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Can I help you with anything else? Could you tell me where the dishwashing detergent is? You'll find that by the paper towels. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's where it'll be. Well, thank you very much. If you need anything else, please feel free to ask me. I was thinking about cooking dinner tonight. What do you want to make? I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't mind a beef bowl. How do I make that? All it has is rice and teriyaki beef. That sounds easy, but how do I make it? First, you need to make some white rice. Then what do I do? Then you need to shred some beef and marinate it with teriyaki sauce. Is there anything else I need to do? Then you cook it up and eat it. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. What can I help you with? I would like to open a bank account. What kind would you like to open? I need a checking account. Would you also like to open a savings account? That's fine. In order to open these accounts, you need to deposit a minimum of fifty dollars. I want to deposit three hundred dollars. I'll set up your accounts for you right now. Make sure to put one hundred and fifty dollars in each account. How are you doing today? Great, thanks. What can I do for you today? I just have one question. What's your question? How do I order checks? You can order them right now if you'd like. That would be great. Just fill out this application. Then what? Give it about five to seven business days, and you should receive them in the mail. Here's my application. Thanks for your help. How are you doing? Great, thanks for asking. What can I do for you today? I would like to deposit some money. Are you depositing cash or a check? I want to deposit cash. How much are you depositing? I would like to deposit three hundred dollars. What account do you want your money in? 
I want to deposit it into my checking account. Do you need anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. What can I help you with today? I have a problem. What is the problem? I wrote a check for $100 and it bounced. Do you have enough money in your account? I think so. Let me check that for you right now. Okay, thank you. Apparently there is only $57 left in your account. You can't be serious. That's what my records show. I see. Thanks for your help. How are you doing? Great, thanks. May I help you with something? I would like to transfer some money. Where would you like to transfer money from? Take it from my savings account. Where would you like the money transferred? I want it transferred into my checking account. How much would you like to transfer? I would like to transfer $200. Will that be all today? That's it for today. Thank you. Can I help you with something? I need to cancel one of my accounts. Is there a problem with it? I don't need it anymore. What would you like to do with all the money in this account? Just transfer it over to my remaining account. I can do that. That would be great. Do you want to take any money out? Not today. It's going to take a moment for me to cancel your account. That's fine. Take your time. What can I help you with today? I would like to make a deposit. Will that be cash or check? I'm depositing a check. Could you sign the back of the check, please? All right. Here you go. Would you like any cash back? That would be great. How much would you like? I would like $150. Here is your $150. Thanks for everything. How are you doing today? I'm fine. What can I do for you? I would like to cancel a check. Is there a problem? I wrote the check out for too much. How much did you write it out for? I wrote it out for $150. How much was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be for $100. I'll cancel that check for you. I really appreciate it. I need to use the ATM. What's stopping you? I'm not sure how. I don't understand. I've never used one before. I can help you figure it out. What do I have to do? Slide your card into the machine. Then what? You need to type your PIN in. What do I have to do next? Click on whichever option you want and you're done. Your total comes to $36.78. Put it on my visa. There's a problem with your card. What's wrong with it? I believe it was declined. You're kidding me. Do you have another card I could try? I only have one card. Do you have cash, perhaps? I don't have any cash on me. You're not going to be able to take these items today. I'll be back tomorrow. Do you have any other questions? I want to know about fees. Which fees? Overdraft fees. You will be required to pay a small fee for every time you overdraft. How much is the fee? You'll have to pay $25 every time you overdraft. That's a small fee. It should stop you from overdrafting. You would think it would, but it most likely won't. Can I help you with anything else? That's it for today. Thank you. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. What can I help you with? Do I have any fees to pay? As a matter of fact, you do. How much? You owe $235.13. That's unbelievable. Will you be paying some of that off today? I want to pay all of it off today. How will you be paying? I'll be paying with cash. I would like to open an account today. What kind? I want to open a checking account. You need to keep a minimum balance. How much is it? You need at least $100 in your account. Is that all? Yes, that's the minimum. What happens if I don't meet that requirement? You will get a fine. How much? It's going to be $25. How may I help you? I'm having a problem. What is it? I apparently owe some fees, but I never got the bank statement. I do apologize for that. My fees went up, but I didn't even know I had fees to pay. I see your problem. What are you going to do about it? I will cancel the fees you owe. I don't have to pay any fees? 
You'll only have to pay the initial fee. That's fine. I appreciate your help. What can I do for you today? I have an issue. What is your problem? There were charges on my debit card that I never made. Do you have a statement for your debit card? I do. Which charges are you talking about? It's the last four charges. We are going to have to do an investigation. Is that going to take long? I'm not sure, but in the meantime, we will freeze these charges. That's wonderful. Thank you. How may I help you today? I need to open a second account. What kind of account would you like to open? I need another savings account. Do you have another account with us? I sure do. Would you like to transfer money from that account into your new one? That's fine. How much would you like to transfer? Transfer one hundred dollars. Give me a moment while I complete your transaction. That's fine. Thank you. Hello. Where can I buy an inexpensive cashmere sweater? Maybe you should look around for an outlet. That is a wonderful idea. Outlets have more reasonable prices. Thank you for your help. No problem. Good luck. Pardon me. Could you help me? Of course. How can I help you? I am looking for a sweater. What size do you wear? Medium, I think. Here. How do you like this one? It's pretty. Can I try it on? You can try it on in the fitting room over there. What do you think? It looks great. I would like to purchase it. Will this be cash or charge? Here, take my credit card. Just sign here, please. Sure. Here you go. Here's your receipt. Have a nice day. Hi. I'd like to return this radio. All right. Do you have the receipt? Here it is. May I ask why you're returning the radio? It does not work very well. Would you like to exchange it? No. I'd just like a refund. Certainly. This will only take a few seconds. I'd like to return this radio. Okay. Do you have your receipt? I lost it. I am sorry, but you need a receipt for a refund. But I purchased it yesterday. Perhaps you would like to talk to customer service. Well, that's a start. I guess they're right upstairs. That sounds good. I'll take the escalator. Good luck. I hope someone can help you. May I exchange this DVD player? Certainly. Do you have your receipt? Here you are. Now, why do you want to exchange it? It won't play a DVD. I'm sorry. I'll get you a new player. At first, I thought it was me. <laughs> okay. Here's a new one for you. Excuse me. Can you help me? Certainly. What can I do for you? May I exchange an open DVD? Certainly, as long as you have your receipt. Here you are. I'm sorry, but you're only allowed to return items within thirty days. Is there any way I can exchange it? I'm afraid not. Well, I'm not coming here any more. I'm sorry, but please don't blame me. Can you help me pick out a gift for my daughter? She might like a laptop computer. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Might I suggest a Mac? Okay. How much? Well, a 15-inch Pro is two thousand one hundred dollars. Oh, that sounds great. I'll take it. Great. How would you like to pay for it? Here's my visa. Let me ring you up. Okay. Sign here, please. Everything I need is in this box. It'll take her only a few minutes to get online. Thank you for your help. So long. Thank you for shopping here. Can you help me pick out a gift for my niece? Most normal little girls go wild over Barbie dolls. That sounds good. Let me see one. Here's the latest model, Digital Barbie. Oh, she's nice. How much is she? Why, she's only twenty nine ninety five. Well, that's reasonable. I'll take it. Excellent. Would you like anything else? No, thank you. The total will be thirty two dollars and forty two cents. Will that be cash? Oh, cash will be fine. Here's your change. Thank you for shopping with us. Can you tell me where the pots and pans are? Pots and pans are right over there. Oh, thank you. 
Could I interest you in our store credit card? No, thanks. I already have credit cards. But our credit card saves you 10%. That's a nice discount. Here, let me give you an application form. Thank you, but I'm just browsing today. Okay, enjoy your browsing. Hi, I'd like to get your store credit card. Here's the application form. I'm finished. Here's the form. Thank you. Now, if you'll just give me a credit card. Here's my visa. Thank you. Excuse me, but is this dress on sale? The dress was on sale yesterday. Are you sure? I'd be happy to pay the sale price today. I'm so sorry, but rules are rules. Okay. I'll just check out a few other stores. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I'm glad these batteries are on sale. I'm sorry, these batteries are not on sale. But that's what the ad said. I'm sorry. If you look at the ad again, you'll see that the other brand is on sale. Oh, you're right. I misread the ad. Yes, many people make that mistake. Well, you can't blame them. It's a confusing ad. You're right. Many ads are like that. Well, as long as I'm here. Just one second, and I'll get you the batteries that are on sale. I would like to exchange this dress. You can exchange this dress with anything of the same value. Is there anything on sale today? I'm sorry, there are no sales today. Are dresses going to be on sale? Everything's going to be on sale next weekend. That's great. I'll wait. See you next weekend. Okay. I'll see you then. I need some flowers for my wife. It's her birthday. Very well. We have some fresh red roses. How much are the roses? Twenty dollars per dozen. That sounds like a good deal. Yes. They're on sale today. I'll take a dozen. Splendid. Will there be anything else? No. The roses will be fine. I'm sure your wife will love them. I want to find an old music box. We have a great selection. What decade are you looking for? Do you have anything made in the 1920s? We have six. Do any of them have dancing figures? Actually, two of them have dancing figures. That's fantastic. I think I like this one. A good choice. I prefer that one myself. Now, is there any warranty with this? Oh, no. I'm afraid not. These things are just too old to guarantee anything. I understand. Even if they break down, they're still works of art. I am looking for a pan. No problem. What size would you like? A big one would be nice. How about this one? It's our biggest, 16 inches in diameter. Oh, yes. I like that one. But it's too heavy. Okay. Try this one. It's made of aluminum. Oh, yes, this is much better, but it has an aluminum handle. Here you go. Same pan, but with a state-of-the-art, heat-resistant plastic handle. Yes, that's perfect. I'll take it. Great. Will that be cash or charge? Oh, wait a minute. What about a lid for the pan? I'm sorry, I forgot to show you the lid. It comes with the pan. Can you tell me where the produce is? It's in aisle A. Do you know what produce is on sale? I don't know. Check the flyer or check with the produce person. I'm looking for some fresh produce that's on sale. Well, we just got in some mangoes. Mangoes? What are they? Well, it's a fruit with a big nut in it. Can you eat the nut? No, you peel off the skin and throw out the nut. How much are they? Well, the sale price is one dollar each. What does a mango taste like? They're like a citrus fruit. How do I know if it's ripe? You can buy them hard, wait a few days for them to develop a soft feel. Where do they come from? Most of them in the store are from Mexico. Hello. I would like to buy some business cards. Excellent. How many would you like? Two thousand would be fine. You need to fill out this form, please. All I want is the same thing on this card. That will be no problem, sir. Okay, I'm finished. Here's your form and my old card. Very good, sir. Your order will be ready in one week. Do you think you could finish it in three days? No problem, sir. But it will cost you extra. 
Do you know where I can find old music boxes? You could try shopping at a flea market. What's that? I've never heard of such a thing. A flea market is an outdoor place where people sell all kinds of used stuff. Okay, where can I find one? Well, you can check the local paper or search flea market online. I need to find a new furniture set for my living room. Where are you going to find one? I have no idea. Do you want to know where I bought mine? Where'd you get it from? I got it from IKEA. How much did it cost you? It cost me a couple thousand for the whole set. Is the furniture sturdy? The furniture is built extremely well. I don't mind paying a lot as long as the quality is good. Well, trust me, the quality is fantastic. Can I help you find something? I would like to buy a new fridge. Is there one in particular that you like? I was looking at this Kenmore refrigerator. Ah,、uh, yes. That is a great refrigerator. What's so great about it? It's both affordable and it comes with all the appliances. What appliances? It comes with an ice maker, water dispenser, and there's a lot of room inside. May I see the inside for myself? Be my guest. Wow, you're right. The refrigerator is great. I'll take it. What are you calling about today? I scheduled a delivery for tomorrow. Is there a problem? I would like to reschedule. That shouldn't be a problem. Can I have it delivered the day after tomorrow? So, you want it delivered the day after tomorrow? Yes. Will that be possible? What time would you like us to deliver it? Is 2 30 okay? Your delivery has been confirmed. Thank you. I'm sorry for the change of plans. What are you working on? I'm figuring out my budget. What budget? I'm making a shopping budget so that I don't spend too much money. How much money can you spend? I can only spend $300 a month. Why only $300? I need to save the rest. For what? I need to pay my bills. Your budget is a good idea. I know it's going to save me a lot of money, I hope.、Mm, what can I help you with today? My washing machine isn't working. What's the problem? The water will not drain. Is there anything else wrong with it? No, that's it.、Uh, I can come down and fix that for you if you'd like. When will you be able to fix it? How does this afternoon at 2 30 sound to you? That would be perfect. All right, so I'll see you then. See you then. I'm planning on going to the market soon. What are you buying? I don't know what we need. I can check for you if you'd like. I'll make a list. First, we need eggs, milk, and bread. Okay. Do we need any meat? How about some chicken, ground beef, and some steak? Mmm, what else do we need? Get some snack foods too, dude. Is there anything else that we need? No, but if you think of anything else, just get I am really interested in buying this television. That's so great! How much are you selling it for? This TV is only $2,500. You can't be serious. Uh, that's how much this TV costs. That's too expensive for me. Well, this television is of very high quality. You can't go down on the price? Um,、uh, buy how much? I'll buy it for $2,000. I'm sorry, but. The price is final. I have a problem. What's the problem? My mattress was supposed to be delivered today. Is there a problem?、Uh, the delivery people showed up four hours late. I apologize for their tardiness. I was late for work because of them. Again, I do apologize for the inconvenience. I want my money back for the delivery. Seeing as they were late, that won't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to refund your money right now. How may I help you? <laughs> I'd like to return an item. What are you returning? I want to return the cell phone. Is there a problem? It's broken. What exactly is wrong with it? The phone turns off by itself. That's fine, but do you have your receipt with you? Yes, here it is. I'll refund your money right now. Thank you so much. Thank you for purchasing your new mattress with us. No. Thank you. Would you like us to deliver the mattress for you, sir? That would be great. When do you want it delivered? I need it delivered tomorrow. Will that be possible? What time exactly? I need it delivered at 12 o'clock. We can have it to you at that time. Ah,、uh, that's not a problem? No, we will deliver your mattress tomorrow at 12 o'clock. That's great. Thank you very much. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm just shopping. What are you shopping for? Some new clothes. How about you? Same here. Have you found anything nice yet? I found a few pairs of pants. Where'd you get those? I found them at JCPenney's. 
Those are really cute. Do you want me to show you where I found them? I would like that. Thank you. I want to go try on these clothes. What did you find? I found some jeans and a new blouse. Go and try it on. What do you think? I love that shirt on you. What about the jeans? They don't really fit right. I don't think so either. That blouse is absolutely wonderful on you, though. Well, I'll just buy the shirt. That would be a good idea. I need to have my computer fixed. What's the problem? I think it has a virus. Did you buy your computer from us? Yes, I bought it from your store. Did you get the warranty on your computer? Yes, I got the warranty. My computer is showing that the warranty you bought is expired. You can't be serious. You're going to have to pay to have your computer fixed. How much is it going to cost? It's going to be about $120. Dun, dun, dun. I really need to go shopping. What do you need to buy? I need to look for a new bedroom set. Where are you going to go look for one? I have absolutely no idea. You don't know where you want to look for one? No, I'm not sure where they sell nice bedroom sets. Do you want to know where I got mine from? Yes, because I love yours. I purchased mine from Ikea. Is Ikea affordable? Not at all. But you get what you pay for. Hey, Devin, have you thought about where you'd like to go to dinner on Friday for your birthday? I am not sure. I don't know that many restaurants around here. You know, we could look online at the local internet sites. Good. Let's take a look. What kind of food would you like? I enjoy Thai or Japanese the best. This one, Shogun, looks good. Oh, yes, I've heard of that one. Everybody I've spoken with says it's great. Would you like to go there, then? I think that that would be a really good choice. Let's call and make a reservation. Hello, Shogun Restaurant. Hi, I would like to make a dinner reservation. Of course. What evening will you be joining us on? We will need the reservation for Tuesday night. What time would you like the reservation for? We would prefer 7 or 7.30. For how many people? Mm, there will be four of us. Fine. I can seat you at 7 on Tuesday. If you would kindly give me your name. Thank you. The last name is Foster. See you at 7 this Tuesday, Mr. Foster. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Good evening, sir, and welcome to Shea Attitude. We have a dinner reservation for four at seven, in the name of Foster? Yes, Mr. Foster. If you would please be seated over in the waiting area, our hostess will be with you in a moment. Thank you. Would it be okay if we have a cocktail while we are waiting? Of course. I will tell her. I would really prefer an outside table. Would that be possible? Sure. If you would like one of those tables, I could seat you right away. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Here are your menus and the wine menu. And would you like to order your drinks now? Yes, I would like a vodka gimlet, please. Sure, no problem, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, can I start you off with anything to drink? Yes, may I have some water, please? Sure, would you like any appetizers today? May I get an order of barbecue wings? No problem. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you. That'll be all for now. Okay, let me know when you're ready to order your food. I'm ready. Okay. What can I get you? May I have the fettuccine Alfredo? Ah, uh, will that be all? Yes. Hi, I'm your waitress, Mary. Hello, Mary. We're all pretty hungry tonight. While you're looking over the menu, can I interest you in an appetizer? An appetizer sounds good. Do you have a special menu? They are listed on the first page of the menu. The coconut shrimp looks good. Have you ever had that? Yes, it is excellent. Good, I'll take that then. Would you like to split that and choose another appetizer for half price to share? Good, in that case, we'll also take an order of onion rings. Thank you. Have you had enough time to look over the menu? Yes, we are almost ready to order. Let me remind you of the specials of the day, which are posted on the board. Oh, that all sounds so good. Can we get the sauce on the side? Yes, we would be happy to prepare the food to meet your special needs. I was wondering if you have any vegetarian choices. Yes, the roasted vegetable salad is good, and the portobello mushroom burger is also a good choice. I think that I would like to order the broccoli noodles, please. 
That's an excellent choice. And I could bring you your salads now or bring them with your dinner. Please bring our salads to us now. We are hungry. May I take your drink order while you're looking over the menu? Yes. Do you have a wine list? The wine list is on the second page of our menu. Do you have mixed drinks in this restaurant? Yes, we have a full bar here. I am not sure what I want. Do you have any house specials? Actually, we are famous for our Cuervo Gold Margaritas. Mm, that sounds good. Please bring me one of those. Would you like that drink blended or on the rocks? I would like it blended. Would you like it with salt or no salt? I would like my margarita, no salt. Thank you. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, we really enjoyed it. May I interest you in some dessert? Yes, that sounds great. Well, we have chocolate mousse cake, homemade fresh strawberry shortcake, and a spicy rum apple crisp for our specials. The apple crisp sounds great. Since there are four of you, would you like to split a second dessert? Good suggestion. Could you please bring us a chocolate mousse cake and four dessert forks, please? Would you like coffee or tea with your dessert? Let's have four coffees, please. Okay, I will be right back with your desserts and drinks. Thank you. We have really enjoyed our... Well, here's your breakfast. Thanks so much. Um, miss, I believe I ordered my eggs scrambled and these are fried. Sorry, your friend over there ordered fried eggs and I gave you his by mistake. Oh, yeah. Here, I will just trade with him. Here are your pancakes, ma'am. But I ordered waffles. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I will eat my eggs and bacon, and you can take my pancakes back. Good. Ma'am, I will take care of that right away. Thank you so much. What a wonderful dinner. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Where did you get your fantastic recipes? I grew up cooking. My mother shared her recipes with me. I especially like the wonderful chicken dish. That is a special coconut ginger chicken with rice dish. Is that shrimp in the soup? Yes. Do you like it? I added a little extra lemongrass and some sea vegetables. I am happy that the wine I brought for you works well with this meal. Yes. Thank you for bringing the wine. It really complements... Hey, Georgie, how is your chicken? My chicken tastes all right, but it is pretty dry. How is your fish? My fish is pretty dry, too. It's almost as if this food has been sitting a little too long. It doesn't seem fresh. Yes, it seems that way to me also. How are your vegetables? My vegetables are soggy. Mine are the same way. It seems like they've been overcooked. I don't usually complain, but... I think we should mention this to the waiter. I agree. Maybe they can bring us some better food. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Oh, here comes our waitress with our check. The service here has been really great, don't you think? Yes, the service was quite good. So, let's look at the check. The total is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? Usually, people leave 15%, but this was exceptional service. I'm thinking that maybe 20% would be appropriate. I agree that 20% would be just about right. Okay, so that will bring her tip to $7.20, add it to the 36 and the total is $43.20. Yes. What a nice dinner this was. Well, we'll have to make sure to come back here again real soon. Do you want some dessert? No, thanks. We just need our check. Have you seen the waitress? Where is our waitress anyway? Yes, the service hasn't been the best. Is that our waitress over there? I'll walk over and get the bill since I don't think the waitress is coming over here anytime soon. Good idea. Just bring it back and we'll figure it out together. So, the bill is $36. How much do you think we should leave for a tip? My first inclination is to leave nothing for a tip. I agree, but we don't really know the whole story. There may have been problems in the kitchen beyond her control. Let's leave 10%, so we at least leave something for the service. I agree. We will leave $3.60. So, how did you like the restaurant? 
I thought it was very good. I felt the food was excellent. What did you like the best? I liked the fish the best. I liked the fish also, but I really enjoyed the dessert the most. Yes, the macadamia cakes were wonderful. Wasn't the service top notch? Yes, the waiter was very attentive. I hope to be able to come back to this restaurant soon. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like anything on it? I would like everything on it, thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome. And your total is five dollars and forty-eight cents. Thank you. Here you go. What kind of insurance do you have? I went with Automobile Club. Why did you choose that company? I looked at the price of the type of insurance that I wanted. What should I think about in choosing coverage? There are websites that will figure out what coverage is right for you. What did you end up buying then? Well, my car is old, so I didn't worry so much about what it would cost to repair it. I did buy a lot of coverage for fixing someone else's car. I see. Have you ever had to use your insurance? Luckily, I never had to use my insurance. Hello. I'm interested in buying auto insurance. Sure. Can I help you? Did you bring all of your registration papers? Yes, I brought everything with me. Is your car with you? Yes, it's out in the parking lot. Wonderful. Let's go and check to see what shape it is in. Okay. Can you help me figure out what I should insure my car for? I will look it up on the blue book list, and I will factor in its condition. What else do I need to consider? Yes, you need to figure in liability for damage to the other car as well as injury issues as well. I really like that car, and I'm thinking of buying it. Yes, I agree. Do you want to take it to the mechanic to have it checked out? I already took care of that yesterday. That's good. Have you discussed the price with the seller? Yes, I think we've agreed upon a fair price. Have you set up your financing to pay for this car? Yes, my parents are going to loan me the money. That's good. What w- would you like me to go talk to the seller with you and drive your car home? That would be of great help. Glad to be of help. I can't wait to see your new. Thank you for letting me test drive the car. So, do you think that you would like to purchase this car? You know, I'm not interested in purchasing the car right now. What's the problem? We can at least sit down and maybe work out a deal. Actually, I have several other cars to look at before I make my decision. What didn't you like about the car? Maybe I can fix something for you. It is a combination of things, but I appreciate your time. I have some other cars you might want to look at. Again, I appreciate your time, but I will not be purchasing this car. Give me a call if you change your mind. Have a good day. I was thinking about buying this used car and was wondering if you would take a look at it for me to see if it has any problems. Sure, pull up over there and we'll take a look. I just wasn't sure what to look for. The first thing you need to do is look for any signs of wear, both inside and out. We will also look at the body for signs of major repair. Someone told me that I could go online and see if the car is listed as. Having been in a major accident. Yes, that's right. Next, we will turn on the engine and we will check under the hood to look at the hoses and belts. Should we take the car for a drive? Yes, but before we pull away, let's check to make sure that the radio, turn signals, lights, and seats all work properly. As I am driving, what should I be checking? You want to make sure that the brakes don't pull to one side and that the car has good alignment and acceleration. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Enjoy driving your car. I am buying a used car and don't know much about financing it. I can help you. Do you have a down payment? Yes, I have saved up three thousand dollars for a down payment. Good, because you will not be able to get a loan without putting some money down on the car. I don't know where exactly to get a loan. Other than friends or family, you can go to a bank, credit union, or use the dealer financing if you bought the car off of a car lot. What is the best choice for financing? It depends. The worst financing deal is usually at the dealer, but they will oftentimes give you a loan.